Senegal is gearing up for the 2024 presidential election, but the fate of opposition politician Usman Sonko, sentenced to two years in prison for corrupting young people, is still causing tensions. For many Senegalese, President Macky Sall's decision not to run for a third term is not enough. Now that he says he won't be a candidate, it's not up to him to tell us who will and who won't be. It's up to the people now to decide. And I think that in order to have a peaceful climate, we need to let everyone take part. It's not a question of pardoning Karim Wad or Khalif Fassal but of everyone taking part in these elections since the president has said he will not run. So he has to let the others run. But if only one candidate is left out, that will be a problem. Opposition politicians Karim Wad and Khalifa Sal, both of whom were eliminated from the voters' role in 2019, are expected to be rehabilitated by 2024, a probability that could upset the balance of power. There is, however, one question, the timing of preparations for the election. In reality, like all political parties, the ambition of the Tahawu Senegal platform has always been to take part in elections, including the presidential election. This means that we have been preparing for this eventuality for a long time. In 2019, we already had a candidate who was unfairly rejected, though he had already gone through the sponsorship process. Today, it is a question of updating our program, which in our opinion is still relevant. But will Macky Sall's withdrawal and Usman Sonko's sidelining really benefit Khalifa Sall and Karim Wad? While some believe the cards could be reshuffled, this political analyst remains skeptical. I wonder if we can talk about reshuffling the cards. I think the president still holds all the cards and is maneuvering, is leaving, but he wants to make sure he has his back. And how can he do that? Through election that the administration itself is going to organize. So are these going to be transparent elections? Will they be inclusive elections? I can't say that. For the time being, the ruling party has yet to nominate its candidates for the presidential election. Nor does the opposition know who the candidates will be on February 25.